We all send private and confidential information over the internet every day. Every time we make an online payment, for example, we expect this to be kept secure. In 2013, PayPal alone processed about $5,700 of payments every second, totaling $180 billion over the whole year. We rely on the internet and the applications that we use to encrypt this information and keep it safe from attackers. But it seems that our trust has been misplaced. SSL is used for secure encrypted connections to websites. This is the protocol that gives you the padlock symbol when you log into your bank. And this is meant to mean that you can trust the website, but it turns out you can't. Last month, a major bug was found in the implementation of SSL used by Apple, affecting iPhones, iPod Touches, Apple TV and Macs, and effectively rendering SSL useless. And not only in the web browser, SSL is used in Mail, Calendar, FaceTime and the App Store, and lots of third-party apps. This bug does not affect Chrome and Firefox because they use a different SSL implementation, but that doesn't really matter if the browser you use to download Chrome and the system updating the software exhibit the bug. Once this became known, Apple quickly issued a fix, and that's good, but we've been open to attackers possibly for years. Basically, this bug opens users up to a man in the middle attack. If you connect to a website through SSL, the website needs a certificate signed by a trusted certificate authority. But this bug makes the bit of code that validates the certificate never fail, even if the certificate is fake. So you think you've got a trusted connection with Google because you authenticated the certificate, but really it could be anyone intercepting your traffic in the middle and pretending to be Google. This is precisely the problem that SSL was supposed to solve. Here's the bad code that Apple have been using. Notice the duplicate line of code. So if this expression is true, then we go to fail. If this expression is true, we go to fail, but this second go to fail is not bound to any if statement. This will always be executed, and this means this check will never be carried out. So whatever happens, we jump to this block and the code will ultimately continue, and the error variable will always contain a successful value because this was never checked. Why can I see this code? Because it's open source. Anyone could have looked at this and found the bug, but apparently nobody did. I hope you can see that this is a stupid mistake with terrible consequences. You'd expect that something like this was a one-off, but you'd be wrong. This week, a similar bug was discovered in Linux, a problem found in GNU TLS, the library used to implement security protocols, like SSL, allowed the software to falsely say that an insecure connection was secure, opening users to a man-in-the-middle attack. You might say that this is just a massive and very unfortunate coincidence, but I didn't understand how nobody had found a bug in two separate open source implementations of a really important security protocol. A quote from PCWorld.com from the lead developer at LinuxSecurity.com says that the code is extremely complicated, so only a select group of people would be qualified to accurately analyse and understand the whole system well enough to catch such a subtle bug. You might be right. There will be a very small number of people who understand how the code works, and also a very small number of people who would be interested in understanding how the code works, leaving an even smaller number of people who could have actually found the bug. But after seeing how obvious the Apple bug was, I wasn't convinced, and rightly so. This email from 2008 documents the GNU TLS bug. People have known about this and it's been on the internet, but it was ignored. This bug was not fixed until this week, even though it was noticed six years ago. This all sounds very suspicious to me, but I leave the speculation to you. All I'm going to suggest is that you update everything you own as soon as possible.